In this video, I am going to try and provide you with two things. Number one, an easier interpretation of the riser variation building codes. And number two, what I would consider to be a simple way to check them. And most building codes allow for a maximum of three eighths of an inch. And this will be the distance between the riser measurements throughout the stairway. So let's go ahead and head up to the top of the stairway and then grab a scrap piece of lumber and it is going to help if the bottom of the block is square however it does not have to be and then simply place the block up against the upper riser and then mark it like we have done here with the top of the floor or landing then we're simply going to move it to the next riser and if the measurement hasn't changed, then we don't need to make an additional mark. However, if it has, then you will need to. And that's exactly what we have here. So you can see here where our first mark and then our second mark. And then we will move it to the next step where we will be making another mark because it's not lining up. So we have our first mark here, our second mark here, and then our third mark, representing the variations in the riser heights for each step. And as you guessed it, we will move it to the next step where it lines up with our first mark, and again, providing us with a reason to avoid marking our little block again. And then we will check our last step where again, we do not need to mark it. However, now will be a good time to check the overall riser height variation. And in our example here, we have a quarter of an inch variation. And since it is less than three eighths of an inch, then this stairway should be approved by most building departments. And hopefully by now you have a better interpretation of what the building codes are looking for. And in my opinion, the easiest way to check for riser variations.